back to my channel, Skin Empress here. I know it's been a while since I posted. I've been busy with my personal life, moving and just working with my family. I have a son who's eight months old and a son who's six months or six years old, so I've been super busy with the two of them. So I just kind of caught a quick minute here to do a video. So I hope you guys like it. So I'm just gonna start by prepping my skin. This is like a lavender and rosehip mist for hydrating the skin. And then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. tone adjusting primer. And I'm just gonna put like a dime size and I'm just gonna rub that all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my Il Maquillage F I'm Flawless Concealer. And I'm just gonna conceal up to my brows on my eyelids and under my eyes where my dark circles are. And then you're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and just blend that out as smooth as you can. So I have this Annabelle light brown, like a blonde, thin eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start by lining my brows. I always start at the bottom and get like the, the wing end kind of of my eyebrow that I want. And then I do the tops and fill in after. And then I do go in with a thicker one as well after I brush my brows out. So I believe my other eyebrow pencil is from Rimmel and just the same shade again. It's just a little bit of a thicker um, pencil or stick. So I just go in and I like to just fill in a little bit more. So then I'm going to go in with my Iconic London palette and I'm going to go in with the peachy peaches and dream color with my crease brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease line and up to my eyebrow like a windshield wiper motion till I get the desired color that I want. For Christmas a couple years ago so I actually don't know what the name of it is but I'm just going in with a lavender color and this palette's not as pigmented as I would like so what I do is I just really like pack the shadow on so instead of like swiping I just kind of like try to dab and swipe just so I can like get as much pigmentation as I can <laughs> darker purple for my outer edge and kind of like that crease line on the outer side of my eye and again packing the color on rather than just swiping it on because it's not as pigmented smudge brush and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line with that dark purple that we used for the top 
And I am going to do it a couple times just to get it to the exact darkness that I want. So now I'm going to go in with this Wonderland Shimmery Pink. And I'm going to apply it to the inner half of my eyelid. Almost in a cut crease like fashion but without actually doing all the extra work. And then back in with that dark purple, just packing it on, packing it on. Then I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner, which is the Dagger Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. And I'm going to start this time on the inner part of my eyelid. And I'm just going to sweep in little brushes to the outer corner and then I'll do my wing once I get my line started. That way I can just fill that little empty space in and it's just a little bit easier. And then again on the other eye, same thing. Trying to get the same angle and thickness so our wings are equal. Then I'm going to go in with my Grande Drama Mascara and I'm just going to coat my lashes to try and get them as long as possible. I like to shimmy it up sometimes or roll it up, it just depends on what you like. I think it's Frank and Oak mascara. It has like a really skinny brush for your bottom lashes, and I'm just gonna do a quick coat on those. I'm back in with that dark purple, just smoking it out a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to do my cover-up, which I have the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This shade, 035. And I just squirt it directly onto my face, and then I blend out with a damp beauty blender till I am streak-free. back in with my concealer again 
and I am going to do a little bit more on my under eye and then I'm just going to highlight a couple points on my face with the concealer as well like in my forehead, the tip of my nose and my chin especially to cover that little pimple there and then I'm going to go in with a brush, a big round brush, like a pointed tipped round brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to go in with this Forest Green Appeal Gel Liner. I'm just going to put that on my inner waterline. Which I realized after I finished filming this that I was not in the camera for half of it. But I am for this part. So at least we got that. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to bake my face with this Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I'm just going to get my damp beauty blender and I'm going to dip it straight into the loose powder. And then I'm going to go underneath my eyes and in my T-zone because that's where I get a lot of oil. And along my jawline just to help with my contour. So while that's setting, because you want to do that for a few minutes, I'm going to... Put on my bronzer, which is the Trip for Two Wander palette. I'm just going to take this dark brown in Tulum with my bronzer brush. And I usually just dab it like literally once on the palette because it's very pigmented. And then try to blend it out as best as I can. And after I'm done my cheekbones, I'm also going to do my forehead just on the upper sides and my jawline as well just to give a little bit more definition to my face make it look a little thinner you don't want to go too heavy on the jawline either or you will be able to look super tall now I'm just going in with a just basic face brush and dusting that all off you really want to make sure you get under that eye because you can get like powder buildup and then you're gonna look really cakey and funny if you get like pictures or something taken so now I'm just going to take the blush from that palette literally that's all you need and I'm going to swipe up my face you don't need to put it on your apples you want it to look like you're glowing when you're not smiling too just a little on the tip of my nose just for fun back in with the dark purple just to smudge out just because I kind of covered it up when I concealed and now I'm going to go in with this illuminating highlighter pen from Kat Von D and I'm just going to put it on the inner corners of my eyes pretty heavily and then I'm going to lightly put it on all my highlight spots on my face just because it is so pigmented so what I usually do is I do like the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose under my brows my high cheekbone very lightly and my cupid's bow it's up to you, not everybody wants to highlight the same parts of their face, but that's what I like to do. And 
And then I'm going to go in with my Dose Liquid Lipstick in the color Fullerty. And I'm going to start at my Cupid's bow. And then just brush out from there. And then when I do my bottom lip, I like to start in the middle. And then just sweep in from the sides. Thanks for watching my video, guys. It's so nice to film again. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like me to try. Press that like button. Press that subscribe button. And I hope to see you again. Bye. Yeah.